Yeah. How are you, Simo? Good to catch up with you, mate. Yeah, same here, buddy. Yeah, what about the um, the social compacts and where they're going? How do you see it travelling? Not bad for a couple of years ago, sitting around over a beer having a chat about what was possible and what wasn't possible was, was going to treat that. Yeah, I mean, I think really where we've gone to in terms of um, the North Queensland social compact and the activists that have got involved, leading into now probably one of the most strategic social compacts with the Garang Garang people in Gladstone. Yeah. You think we're going to get some traction on that and some delivering of training and jobs? Yeah, we are. We've already got some runs on the board, and that's the best part about it. It's not just a, not just a feel-good exercise. People are actually delivering jobs. We're delivering Indigenous jobs through it, and real jobs, not bullshit jobs, real jobs that people want. Yeah, I think it's great. You have a look at PBC. Tal, I've been speaking to the delegates there via email, and they're just announcing this week that uh, we picked up three trainee ships there for uh, ADSI people. And I think on the back of that and where we're going and some of the big announcements, I think 2013, off the back of the signing of the social compact in Gladstone, I think it's going to be a real consolidating year for us in terms of where we go with Aboriginal training and, um, and jobs. Yeah, I'm wrapping it. Our members get it now. They understand what we're trying to do. It's no uh, handouts for people. It's no uh, special treatment. It's, it's you know, giving people equal opportunity. And yeah, we've done it with Energex. We're just about to do it with Ergon Energy, even though the Campbell Newman government's pulled some of the funding. Uh, there's still money available that some of these companies are saying we'll just do it ourselves because it's a good initiative. So we're, we're wrapped and I couldn't be, couldn't be more happy than that. I think you hit the pertinent point there, it's not a charity. This is um, a lot of hard work and um, you know, you go back to the days when we were just talking about this in a quiet chat at some course that we were doing, I can't even remember the course, but um, you know, but where we've come to and where it's going now, um, do you think also now we need to look at the consolidation in terms of resourcing to make sure we coordinate Firstly, at a state level, and then next to the national level, to make sure that we're really getting the grounding and, and achieving the goals that we're trying to set through these social. Yeah, got, got to do it. You know, the, the more this grows, the more resources it takes from our end, and we can't afford to be disjointed. It can't be the MUA doing, it can't be the ETU doing. It's got to be all of us throwing some money in a pool and having one person coordinate or several people coordinate would be the way to do it. But money's the, the problem. Uh, got to get the coin to do it. But. It's got to be done, simple as that. Well, maybe after um, after we get this social compact done, I think maybe, maybe you and me make it our job to go out and find out where those purses are and where those pots of gold are, and let's go and get that funding and make this happen. Yeah, we could probably do with one or less, one or less heliports in, in Brisbane. Maybe some of that money could go towards it. That would be good value. That would be lovely. <laughs> I think just in terms of um, our union and the Maritime Union, you, know, you know, apart from... You know, we're very, very proud of the, the role that we've played and we, we want to acknowledge the ETU and the role that they've played in Queensland. I think it's been fantastic support for a, a great initiative that's now really going to deliver. So, um, you know, from the Maritime Union to the ETU, I want to thank you for standing side by side with us in this. Um, couldn't have done it without the ETU. Um, and I guess from the Maritime Union to uh, the unions that are up in, in, in Gladstone for the signing, Congratulations and um, thanks very much for picking up an initiative that needed to be taken on. Nobody was ever going to deliver anything like this except the trade union movement. So we thank you and to the Garang Garang people, um, you know, this is a real opportunity. It's not a charity, it's not a gift. Um, you need to use it well, you need to use it strategically and if we get it right, we'll deliver some real cost-effective training that delivers some real jobs long-term, not only for this generation, but the next generation of the Garang Garang people. Yeah, spot on. And if I could just say, uh, back that up, thank Ian, because without Ian, none of this would be happening. And you know, go back to the AMW in West Australia too, without Steve's input, it, with the uh, Kimberley Land Council, this wouldn't have happened. And when Ian first showed me the draft document for the North Queensland Land Council, I uh, read through it, I read about 10 pages of it and said, where do I sign? You know, it's a great initiative. And thanks to, to blokes like Ian and, and Steve that have put this together, you know, it wouldn't be here otherwise. So hats off to the MUA and the, and the other signatories. Everyone's come on board pretty much for this now. And thank Christ for that because, as Ian said, the trade union movement's the only movement that can deliver this sort of concept. You're not going to get it out of government and you're certainly not going to get it out of the current state government. So it's, it's a great initiative and well, well done to everyone. Congratulations on the signing up there in Gladstone. Sorry I can't be there. Yeah, likewise. Sorry I can't be there, but good luck on the day. Wish you every success. Let's continue the journey because it's been great fun so far and I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun going forward with the other social compacts that we want to sign. Good stuff. Cheers. Thanks.